Hi friends. I'm Casey. Who are you? Kaylin. Say I'm Kaylin. I'm Kaylin. And this is Keelani. And we are Triple K Art Studios. And we are going to teach you a really fun lesson today that you can do at home with your family. So first I'm gonna move Keelani up here in her chair. And we're going to show you how to do something fun. So the materials that we need today are, we are going to need some sort of paper. It could be construction paper, it just needs to be a light color. This is uh, some old resume paper that I had. You'll want to push up your sleeves because we are going to be painting today in some form. Yulani <laughs> is looking at her, her pictures in the camera right now. Yes, she is. So we will need a piece of paper. You are going to need some sort of paint. I'm just using some old Crayola temper paint. It's just paint for paper. You can go get some of the acrylic paint from the dollar store. You can use you can use acrylic paint from Walmart. Just the 37 cent bottles will be just fine for this. But it does need to be some sort of paint that you can squeeze out. So we are going to be printing today. You're going to also need a fork. We're going to print with a fork. And we are going to be making these beautiful impressionism tulip paintings. I see them all. I see. <laughs> what do you think about them? Do you know what impressionism is, Kaylin? Impressionism is a type of painting where they make paintings a little bit fuzzy looking. Okay, we're talking about Impressionism. So we're going to learn about the famous Impressionism artist. His name was Claude Monet. Claude Monet was from France. Do you know where France is? France is very far away. You have to get in an airplane, you have to fly over the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, and you go to France. So Claude Monet was a French painter, and he painted flowers. He loved to paint flowers. He was quoted as saying that flowers were the most beautiful thing to paint. So we're going to do some tulips today. We're going to paint like Claude Monet did, but we're not going to paint like he did. We're going to kind of turn it into an Impressionism painting. So we're going to start by adding a background to our painting. The background is very important because we're just adding just a little bit of paint on it, so we don't want the whole paper to look white. It might just look kind of boring and dull, and we don't want that. We want it to look beautiful. So in order to do the background, as you can see in these paintings, we are going to add a horizon line. Do you know what a horizon line is, Kaylin? A horizon line is where the grass and the sky touch. It's where they meet. So you're going to grab a crown or a marker. It doesn't matter, whatever you have at home. We're using these little Easter crowns that Kaylin got a couple of years ago from the Easter Bunny and I just dug them up. There's some bunnies and there's some ducks. So we're going to use some of these little crowns. I, got I also have some Mr. Sketch smelly markers. You can also use markers, whatever you have at home. I Color have pencils work as well. Bunny crown and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a crown or a marker and we're going to draw a line down towards the bottom of our paper where we are going to have our grass. You want the light green or the light blue? Okay, so we're going to draw a line on the bottom of your paper. So here's what mine looks like. You want to go from one edge of the paper to the other. That's perfect. You want to show it to everybody? You want to hold it up and show it to our friends? Put your lid on your marker. Job. Hold it up, show it to everyone, nice and flat. So we need a horizon line, that's where we're going to put our grass. We're going to add just a little bit of color to these. We're going to color very lightly with some crowns. So Kaylin, what color is grass? Um, green. So let's take our green crown 
and very lightly just add some horizontal lines to the bottom. Do you know what a horizontal line is? Can you take your arms and stretch them really, really far like mine? This? No? This is a horizontal line. Horizontal means from left to right, from right to left. <laughs> So, a horizontal line is left to right, right to left. What's the opposite of horizontal? Uh, six. Vertical. vertical! Straight up and down. That's a vertical <laughs> Six, you're so silly. So we're going to draw these horizontal lines on our grass. Are you done? Come on, all the way around. Adding just a little bit of color. <coughs> Mom, there's a secret message in here. It is, it's resume paper. It has that watermark stamp on it. That's what that's called. Mom, let's read it. I it says, it's Leonardo da Vinci code. It's backwards. It says, <gasps> Southworth fancy paper. Whoa! All right. <clears throat> Kaylin, what color is the sky? What color is the sky? What color is the sky? Blue. It's blue. So we're going to take a blue, and if you want to add pink to your sky, she's really wanting to use pink. You may use pink in your sky too, because why do we see pink in the sky? Um, because it's sunset. Sunsets, and, and what other time do we see pink in the sky? Uh, I don't know. What about in the morning? What's it called? Uh, the sun. Sunset is in the evening when the sun goes down. Sunrise! Sunrise in the morning when the sun comes up. So you can use pinks and orange and yellows if you want to, but the important thing to remember is to go lightly. Good I'm job. Sunset. So we just have just a little bit of color for our background. It's just going to make it look more complete. Good job. Oh, green in the sunrise is beautiful. Good job. Now the little placemats I'm using, grown-ups, are amazing. They stick to the table. These are Hello Kitty. They're just disposable placemats. You can buy them on Amazon in like a 40 count for like 10 bucks. They have all different characters and colors and there's numbers and alphabets and it, they're little learning mats. So we love these for our lessons. Plus you can just dip paint right on them, wad them up and throw them in the trash. So show everybody your beautiful sunrise, Kaylin. So she has just a little bit of color in her background. So now we are going to use our fork and we are going to start printing some flowers onto our background. So your oh. fork's right here. We also have a paper towel because we're going to just wipe off the color I every want, time we change. I want, um, I want to do mine. So you are going to get a little bit messy. Your fingers might get a little bit of paint on them, but that's okay. All you have to do is wash your hands. It's not going to hurt you. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a color for our flower. Can you have green tulips? Yeah. Where do you put in, silly? Well, I can wipe them. Go ahead and wipe them. Unless you want a green tulip, you probably don't want to stick it in the green right away. We're going to think about the tops of the tulips, which can be red or yellow or purple or blue or orange or whatever color you have available. I want to use. To so we're going to place our fork. I want to do my tulips orange. Go ahead and you can you have all those colors. Mom, you can, do it. can I can I do all colored tulips? Just do one at a time for now, okay? So what I did is I dipped my fork into the red paint on the rounded side. So the bottom of the fork. And then we're going to take our fork and we're going to print the shape of the fork onto our paper just like that. There are a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can just print it straight up and down. You can also use the bottom rounded part. This would be more for the older students to do. And you can slide it. You can press it down, spin it, and slide it just a little bit. And you get a little bit of a different looking flower shape right here. These are more of an abstract form of flower, which means that it might look might look a little bit different. It might just yeah. look like a shaper if you want. Yeah. Yeah, it might look a little bit different, huh? So we're going to continue printing a few flowers onto our background. If you need to switch colors, just wipe it off. You can have fun with patterns. You can print tulips and patterns, but it's okay just to have some 
random shapes here in your background. Turn it into a tulip. It's beautiful. There was a famous painter named Bob Ross that would take that and turn it into something beautiful. Called them happy little accidents. All right, so I'm going to wipe my orange off of my fork and I'm going to start adding green for my stems. We're not using a paintbrush, we're not using our fingers, we're using our fork. So if you take a look right here, are my tulips. They don't look much like tulips, but what we do now when we add the details, we're going to turn them into tulips. Mine doesn't look good. Kaylin has some beautiful, colorful rainbow tulips. And so we're going to add some stems now. So wipe your paint off of your brow. Here, put one right over here. Put a tulip over here. One more paint. All right. Okay, take your paper towel. Wipe your fork clean. And we're going to use green now. Mom, I need some more green paint, please. No, you're not going to be using much for this step. You don't need that much paint for this. So now we're going to use the pointed part of the fork, like if you were to stab a piece of meat to eat it with. We're going to dip it in the green. And then we are going to draw a straight line for the stem and plant it into the grass with the tip of our fork. Just like that. And you're going to do that to all of your tulips. You're just drawing. You're using this part, Kaylin. This part right here. Okay, take your time. Go slow. Ronnie is okay. Now, see, see where my finger is right here? So you might have to adjust your grip on your fork. Hey, you're not going to get upset. you get upset you can't give up you're doing a fine job all you have to do is draw a line with the edge of the fork okay See? then you just add more paint to it I, I am See? but it's not doing don't it don't argue with me all the way down can you hold the paper so it doesn't move for me what do you mean C I'm not having any problems at all There's Kaylin. The attitude's going to stop. Or you won't do these videos with us. There's going to be a lot of people watching you act this way. But you just have to keep doing it. I told you you have to go slow and be patient. Okay. Well, then we're done with the stems. So now we're going to add some leaves. Same thing. You use the end of your fork. And we're going to add some leaves. So you're not watching what I'm doing. That's the problem. And this happens a lot of times in my class. If you don't pay attention to the demonstration, you're going to have trouble. See how I'm doing it? I was watching. Watch. You're not watching me right now. I'm just using my fork. And I'm adding some beautiful little leaves to the bottoms of my stems. Do you want me to give you some more paint? Will that make you happier? Uh, I'll 
I'll give you some more green. Kaylin just needs some more paint. That'll just make her happy. There you go. Sometimes you just need a little bit more. We're not done yet. We're almost done. Good job, Kaylin. Those look beautiful. I love them. They're like rainbow tulips. With a rainbow background. Rainbow beautiful sunrise. strange time right now. Teachers can't go to school, Mommy, students can't go to school to I, learn. I really need a paintbrush because I need to nope. paint a butterfly. We're printing. I'll show you how to do a butterfly with your fork here in a little bit or you can draw one with your crowns but we're not done yet. We're gonna do one more thing to turn it a little bit more into more of an impression painting. We're going to take our fork. Watch what I do Kaylin. And you're just going to scribble and draw some lines all over your beautiful hard work that you just completed. See what I'm doing? And what we're doing is we are giving it a texture. We're making cross hatching by taking our fork and just scratching the whole paper. And we're moving that paint all over the place. Good job, Kaylin. So we're getting a little bit more of a distortion. More impression painting so I'm just using straight lines show everybody your beautiful tulips good job Kaylin I love it it's beautiful Mom, let me just add a butterfly. and if you want to add some more to your background with the crowns or the markers you're welcome to if you want to add some more flowers I like to also take a little bit more green and blue paint and add a little bit to my sky and my grass with some more of the cross hatching you're basically just painting with the fork it's called printing it's a different kind of printmaking you're just using tools. Instead of a paintbrush, you're finding different ways to add paint to your paper. You have these nice paintings afterwards for that. So hang them on the refrigerator, take pictures of them, send them to me, show them to me. Um, you can like our new Facebook page, Triple K Art Studios, and look out for more videos. Thanks, Kaylin. Can you say bye to our friends? Bye! Bye! Enjoy the most of this time at home. Do yeah. some art.